Hey guys, what's up? So, quick vlog as I wait to pick my son up. My hair. From school in the pickup line. Anyway, so it's been about a few days. Oh my gosh, sorry guys. Sorry. So it's been a few days since I've been in business. Well, not really, you know, since I've started the business. Oh my gosh, everything is so expensive. Like I said, I'm not starting with a lot of money. But I started um, with the money that I had, which wasn't a lot, you know, my monthly paycheck, which isn't a lot for the VA. Anyway, so I have the business. I applied for the LLC application. I had to have the electric switched in my name. Oh my God. So the electric, it came with a deposit. In addition, there is this thing called a 911 number. When you have a business that you're operating like a store. Uh, they require, and you're outside of the city limits, they require you to pay $30, it was a $30 fee, to enter into the 911 registry. So if anything happens, they'll have my information in the 911 database. Anyway, so that was that. Then it was so much money for the deposit for electric, which they said was the lowest amount, but I feel like it was still something I didn't want to pay. It's like five something, 500 something dollars. Then there was the water deposit, even though you don't pay the water yet, but they charge you a deposit. Another 200, LOC application, another 100, business license application, 50. In addition to the application, you got a lot of running around to do. You got to get inspections, fire department, all this other stuff on the building. Listen, guys, it's so much work. In addition to all of that, I came under the weather. I caught, I don't know what's a bug going around, and I haven't been sick in a long time, but definitely came under the weather with whatever's going around so that's my update on gym body we have a new um ac being put in miss um the lease holder the lease i mean not the lease holder i'm the lease holder but the owner of the building that i'm leasing from she this she said she would change it for me so that it's been adequately um can cool down it's so hot in louisiana you really just can't be in a space that's not cooling down so anyway we're getting a bigger unit put in today i just met with the people they're still working now i'm picking my son i'm gonna go back and lock up but that is my block oh my gosh support for gym body tmc pre-orders non-existent i had a few people who actually put their um action to their support lots of people are going to say congrats they're going to share they're going to hey good job i don't i mean that means thank you for your congratulations but what really helps a black business owner or not just a black business owner but what helps a business owner who's new in business who took a leap of faith who isn't starting off rich is actual support with money i have so many siblings i have so many quote unquote friends i have so many people you know and i'm not taking it personal because everybody ain't able and they will they will support when they're able but i have people who are able who didn't support too so it's kind of disheartening some people ain't even respond to like hey help me out i got you know i need to get 60 pre-orders i need to um pay for startup calls and order the first for the merch matter of fact i need to sit, submit an order for um the first pre-orders the people who did pre-order which was only like four people three four including me and um, some more. Of course, I'm going to order um, merch anyway without it being a pre-order. But I would have definitely appreciated the support. But it is what it is. My angels, my ancestors, I know this is going to be big. My life is about to make a turn anyway. And things are going to work out for me. So, no issue. No worries. You can't really worry because you block your blessings. And you can't let anyone else's lack of support block your blessings too. But I just wanted to do a quick Gym Body TMC vlog just to show that everybody ain't starting off with a lot of support. Everybody ain't starting off with a lot of money. But I'm going to do my best to make it succeed. I really am. Like, think about it. Three people supported. Three people supported my pre-order effort. Lots of people able didn't support. It's like, mm. but it's all good. It's all good. Keep that same energy when it's big. Keep that same energy when I make it. But I, as y'all can see, I look, you know, I'm, I'm pretty sick. My nose all shiny. Um, got on my army t-shirt and some leggings because I just really don't feel well. But I have to pick my son up. I had to do, I had to get a quick loan in order to make sure everything 
that was supposed to come out is coming out and I still need more so uh, hopefully that something comes through for me so that I, um, I won't be behind on anything and everything can you know be on schedule I wanted everything to skyrocket everything actually has been going out of my favor like even being given this opportunity and not giving because it definitely costs it's not like somebody gave me anything but she afforded me the opportunity to lease the space and start the store and she pushed me to do so I, I needed that push so I'm grateful for that and even that happening and meeting the most one of the most prolific business women and she just happens to be German and she likes me or whatever in the city like everywhere I go everybody knows her so to even be here and really only coming out of the house to pick up my son and come back I made one I was going to the gym picking my son and coming back like it literally was nothing more than that and I still met her just from starting just from putting foot to action by getting some initial gym body TMC sweaters done just to see what it would look like as a like kind of like prototype um, from the local speedy tea shop and just so happens that she was moving or retiring whatever she's done and then i just happened to call the number and be in touch with one of the most uh, amazing women business women here so i honor that relationship and i'm gonna you know make sure i do everything right so i can be right with her and learn from her as a businesswoman as a real estate guru so yeah guys that is week one i guess of gym body tmc i'm still working still planning still I, I'm really putting all my faith in spirit and God and putting my faith in myself and my work ethic and how I can make this happen. I've, I've tried to, I've emailed, I've texted, I've, I'll do an email to my customers from my books to see if they'll support. But I've been emailing, I've been texting, I've been calling, asking for support. I didn't get much of it. I have Facebook, I've been messaging on there too. Not people haven't supported. So, but it's not about what they didn't do it's what i'm doing to make this happen i've used i've emptied my account just to get in the space i've applied for loans and gotten loans so it's just so much going on and i'm giving my best foot and putting my best foot forward and that's all that i can do so i'm taking you guys along the way only because i know that i'm going to make it and i want to see this and i want people to see this progression from taking a leap of faith and it actually working lots of people say you shouldn't have took it you shouldn't have took that leap of faith you should have started small and did what you could and saved your money yeah i could have done that too but think about it when people start small they still fail you start small, you win small, or you start small and you still fail. And a lot of people start small and still fail. Or you start big, you win big, potentially, or you lose. But either way, you put yourself out there, and I'm a risk taker, and I don't mind putting myself out there, and I'm blessed to be put in a situation where I can do so. I have a place to stay and a car to drive because of my baby daddy. So I have a little support. I do have that support, and I'm blessed to have that support, even if you know people don't support my business i have that support as it pertains to me and my son having a place to stay and a way to get around for in the meanwhile i'm, I'm sure that um on my birthday i'm gonna buy me a new car but that's neither here nor there um and i could really move out as soon as <laughs> if i wanted to but i have the support so that's just what matters i have the support in that area and it's, it's just gonna work out i have faith in god i have faith in myself i have faith in spirit in my ancestors i have ancestors protecting me leading me guiding me and it's gonna work out i had a dream today to overcome the obstacles in a way that i have the, the opposition trying to steal my inheritance trying to steal balance when you are balanced you receive from that trying to keep me in balance so that i can um progress in life and more life is given to me so i need to make sure i'm not letting the opposition steal that from me i need to remain balanced and what i mean balance is my body and spirit i'm putting in the hard work i'm trusting the spirit i'm having faith and i'm not letting all this things going in the background get to me so i have to remain stoic i have to remain focused on my task and get it done so that's the message of today i hope y'all can hear this with my hand on the phone but i talked a lot i'm gonna be so pissed <laughs> y'all can't hear me but as you can see i'm sick i'm still trying to get the work done today i'm still making errands people are still at the store ac getting put in loans applications whatever the fuck i have to do to make this work to make sure that i continue the relationship with the person with miss uh, maria and you know i'm doing I'm, I'm, all the i can do i'm doing my best so that's week one gym body tmc love light and more life peace